Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Today is my day off. Okay, did you do something interesting? And um, yes. What did um, you do? I, ¿cómo se dice? Yo fui a misa. I went to mass. I went to mass. Yes, you went to mass today. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. What else did you do? Sorry. What else did you do? Only, well, that's the only thing you do. Um, también eh, estuve en mi clínica, pero no sé cómo Ah, uh, you also went to the clinic? Yes, my clinic. Ah, oh. oh, you have a clinic? Yes, yes. Are you a doctor? I, I, yes, I am a doctor. Oh, in interesting. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, you have the clinic in your house? Yes, yes. Wow, oh, that's excellent. Nice. Yes. Did you work on the platform? Yes, I, I finished. You finished? Yes. Did you do the final exam? Mm, sí, yes. Um, mi nota fue de 100%. Oh, you got 10. Yes. Congratulations. Did you download the certificate? Yes, yes, I, I have. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Do you have any topic that you would like to review? Uh, yesterday? Uh, yesterday we reviewed the WH questions and the time. And the time and a sport. Okay, nice. Um, eh, ¿Tienen algún tema que quieren que repasemos aparte de los que ya vimos ayer? <coughs> No, hasta ahorita estamos bien entonces. Okay. So many people is getting in. How are you today, uh, Diego? Diego, how are you today? Hello, and um, I am fine. fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. Did you work in the platform? Um. No. No, today, day off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fatima, how are you doing? Fatima? I am fine. Fine. Did you work today? Yes, teacher. I am um, work today. You work today, the whole day. Have you completed the whole yes. day, el día entero? Yes, teacher. No, you should be tired, but that's okay. What about you, Noe? How are you doing? Hello. Hello, Noe. How are you doing? Hello. Um, um, I work today. Um, I. I I I will uh, give. Uh, quiero pedir disculpas por el día de ayer. I want to apologize myself. I want apologize myself. Myself. Yes, because I I yesterday I was a, a baby assistant or yes. Estaba de oh. niñero. Ah, babysitter. Babysitter, yes. <laughs> you yes. were babysitting yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Solo oh. estaba conectada escuchando, pero no podía poner el audio porque se iban a oír los gritos. Ah, okay. Yes, That's fine. Yes. The, the important yes. thing is that you listen to the class. That's important yes. too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry. That's fine. No, that's Sorry. fine. Don't worry. What about you, Iris? How's everything? Today, uh, tired. Tired? A lot of work at home. Uh, todo el día trabajando. At home, it's tired. You have to do the laundry, cook, 
wash the dishes, clean the house, yeah. babysit, enfermera, <laughs> contadora, de wow, todo. Wow, <laughs> okay, yeah, no. And it's not well paid. No. <laughs> and you, you work for free. Yes. <laughs> I know. How are you doing, Victor? Victor, how are you? Hello. Hi, how are you? Um cansado. <laughs> Tired. So you say I am tired. Yes. Or you can I say tired. I feel tired today. Okay. Okay, guys. Some of you, ya hay una persona que ya terminó la plataforma, el examen final, ya imprimió su certificado. ¿Cómo va el resto de ustedes? Ya finish. Finish. En el ya, ya bajó su certificado, Iris. Ya. Solo una pregunta. De verdad no supe qué poner. Pero me cansé de probar. Así que quedo con el 99%. Ok. But that's excellent. Sí, ya se cansó. Lo importante ya tiene su certificado. Es una excelente nota. Y pues... Quizás la plataforma no colaboró para que fuera el 100%, ¿verdad? El 10, pero igual, congratulations, that's good. Thank you. Ok, we got two. And the rest of you, ¿cómo van los demás? Eh, una consulta. Yes. Um, ahí aparecía un, una fecha final y uh -huh. después nos mandaron un, un correo con otra fecha. ¿Hasta cuándo va a estar activa la plataforma? Uh, yo vi que habían escrito en el chat también. En la parte de... Ok. Según el chat. Bueno, a nosotros nos han dado de límite hasta el domingo. Yo creo que lo ha conseguido. Uh -huh. Domingo es lo que tenemos límite nosotros. Uh -huh. Sí, 21. Okay. Esa sería la fecha, ya para que tengan todo completo, plataforma, documentos, and that's it. Y nomás que terminen, bajen el certificado, mejor ya tenerlo seguro y no dejarlo para después. Ok. Ok. ¿Por qué piden tanta documentación ahora? Lo que pasa es que como son becas, tienen que estar como actualizando la documentación para asegurarse que sigue interesado, que siempre va a participar, que no se ha retirado, que sigue activo. Uh -huh. ¿Que no nos ha llegado el mensaje? ¿Hola? Eh, a mí no me ha llegado el mensaje de mandar los documentos. Un correo. Un correo. Un no, correo. Los... Ya revisé el correo, ya revisé el fan. Eh, escriba al chat este, bueno, ah. para Jason. Escríbale a Jason porque si no se va a quedar fuera. ¿Cuándo comenzaría el, el nuevo? El 2 Después. de marzo, dice. El 2 oh. de marzo decía. Sí, se descansa una semana en lo que <coughs> se prepara toda la documentación. Sí, pero también lo, sí lo escribieron en el chat, está el mensaje. Y aparte lo manda una persona que se llama Jonathan Guzmán también. Que Jonathan es el número. Y Jason son los encargados. Ajá. Los encargados y mandaron también un, un chat eh, al número personal de cada quien, porque a mí Jonathan me lo envió. Ok, entonces hay que, hay que andarle porque ya son los últimos días. Si no, nos quedamos fuera. Y van a ser por gusto los de los. <ríe> bueno, a mí me pidieron los mismos documentos. No ha cambiado. Sí, son los mismos. Solo es para como actualizar y estar como seguros de que sí van a seguir. Eso así es, aún en las clases presenciales, en las clases físicas, también así. 
Así es, la gente tiene que estar dando los documentos no, cada módulo. Noé, ¿do you have a question, Noé? Solo un, un aporte para la compañera de los si no ha recibido el correo, okay, que, revise, que revise los correos no deseados. A mí ahí me caen. Ya revisó, dice. Uh -huh. En los no deseados también, que revise, tal vez ahí está. Ok. Solo un correo dio, Iris. ¿O tiene más de un correo? Porque esa puede ser. No. Otra. No. No, solo un correo tengo. Okay. Pero lo voy a escribir mañana. Iris, igual yo también voy a poner aquí recordar todo el la documentación no se la han pedido, vean. No. Ok, es la misma documentación y hay que mandársela a ellos siempre para que no se quede fuera. Ok, well, uh, we're going to start about yesterday's topic. Lo que estábamos estudiando ayer, vimos la WH questions in simple present, ¿verdad? Estábamos viendo las preguntas de information question en presente simple, haciendo como un breve repaso. Acordémonos, bueno, los usos del presente simple los tienen bien claro, ¿verdad? Es para hablar de, eh, para dar información personal, para hablar de hechos, rutinas, cosas normales de la vida diaria, eh, hechos, eh, y cuando estamos haciendo oraciones afirmativas en la tercera persona singular, he, she, it, aplicamos la regla de la S a la mayoría de verbos, algunos cambian a ES y etcétera, ¿verdad? Como tenemos aquí las oraciones en afirmativo, I study English, you study English, he studies English, she studies English, it studies English, we study English, and they study English. Cuando estamos haciendo preguntas, ya sean yes, no question, o information questions, u oraciones negativas, el verbo no cambia. ¿Okay? Decíamos que en las preguntas utilizamos siempre el, el verbo auxiliar do, y para la, persona, per, eh, la tercera persona singular vamos a utilizar das. ¿Okay? La estructura que usamos en este tipo de preguntas es, primero ubicamos la WH word, la palabra con WH, where, when, why, how, who, what, y las otras que hemos estudiado. Luego el auxiliar será do o does, dependiendo de qué sujeto estemos hablando, ¿verdad? Si es I, vamos a escribir do. You do, he, she, it, vamos a poner does. We, they, do. Ok. Entonces nos quedaría WH word, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo, complemento y al final el signo de pregunta. Eso es lo que hemos estado estudiando y repasando. Entonces ahora lo vamos a practicar acá. Vamos a llenar los espacios en blanco para completar las oraciones utilizando las palabras que están arriba. Ok. Vamos a poner... Uh, por ejemplo, aquí dice Thomas studies English at college. Si la oración me está diciendo que Thomas estudia inglés en la universidad, college es universidad, no es como acá que colegio, right? Es university, college. Um, entonces la pregunta sería, where does Thomas study? ¿A dónde estudia Thomas? Y siempre siguiendo la estructura, ¿verdad? WH word, auxiliar, subject, and the verb at the end. Ahora, ¿cómo nos quedaría la dos? Si dice, her friend lives in London. De, de Rey McQueen. Where does he, where does her friend live? She. Ok. Escriban las preguntas en su cuaderno. Y luego vamos a revisar a ver cómo nos fue para reforzar.
finished? Have you finished? No yet? No teacher. Okay. In this teacher. Okay, we're going to check. Okay, uh, volunteer for number one. Let's see. Yeah, is there a volunteer for number one? Where does her friends live? Where does her friend live? No S, right? Sin S, live. Live. Okay, ¿Por qué se le quita la S, teacher? La S se ah, le quita en la pregunta. Por, por eso, ajá, porque ¿Por qué? es pregunta. pregunta. Uh -huh. Entonces ya el auxiliar especifica tercera persona. Por eso ya no se conjuga el verbo. El verbo solo se hace esto. Uh -huh. El verbo solo se conjuga en oración afirmativa, tercera afirmativa. persona singular, en negativa. Negación y pregunta, ¿no? No, porque el auxiliar ya especifica la tercera persona. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Now, number three, volunteer. What does... What does... does... What does, después del auxiliar, ¿qué va? What does Susan, Susan. study? Susan, el sujeto. Excelente. What does Susan study? Study, study Matt. Uh -huh. What does Susan, Susan study? study? ¿Qué estudia? Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Qué estudia Susan? What does Susan study? Ok, good. Number four. Who, who, who does live in New York? Okay, who does live in New York? Okay, uh, number three, uh, well, number five. Lotto. 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 Number when five. Brother get when, up. Does, uh, when does brother get up? Get up. Get up. Okay, when does his brother get up? Number six. Teacher. Yes. En, en la number one. No, en la. Pero sería la, la número dos y la número cinco. Eh, está hablando de sus amigos y de sus hermanos. 
Entonces, en ese caso, no sería do en vez de does. Hola. Porque son Hola. ellos. Hola. No, porque en la 5 está preguntando sobre su hermano. Ajá. Entonces, es... es singular. Ah, es singular, es cierto. Uh -huh. Ajá, y a ver, la 2 está preguntando por su amigo. O su, su amiga. Ah, uh, sí. Sí, Ajá, no. sí. Creí que era plural. Ok, that's ok. Um, next. Um, how, da, how does Mr. Brown do the work? How does Mr. Brown do the work? Go. Go. Aha, uh -huh. el verbo. Go. go. Yes. Go how does Mr. Brown go to work? Go to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, number seven. What does the supermarket sell? What does the supermarket sell? Okay, number eight. Where do they travel? Where do they usually, usually travel. travel on holidays? Uh -huh. On holidays. Yeah, kind of long. <laughs> number nine. Richard what is a teacher. What does, what does, does what Richard, does? Richard <laughs> teach? Excellent. What does Richard teach? And finally, number 10. Where does, Where the does bus, go, go the, this, bus. this bus? Where does, después del, where does, después this del, bus. Auxiliar, el go. sujeto, this este bus. bus. Where does mm -hmm. this, this bus, bus go? This bus go. Uh -huh. Excellent. So I'm going to send this. Esto se lo voy a mandar por WhatsApp para que les quede ahí y ahí están las respuestas en la segunda paginita. Okay, that was a review because well, we have to continue with the topic and the platform. As you can see here, let me share the screen with you. This is part of the platform, the WH questions in simple present. Ayer estábamos hablando de deportes, o esto continuamos con los deportes. Simple present WH questions. So we're going to listen, and then you tell me if you find your vocabulary or Page 65, exercise three, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Do you have any question? Questions? No question. Oh, yes? Hunter Park. Eh, Hunter Park es el nombre del parque. Es un nombre propio, como que dijeron Parque Simón Bolívar o algo así. Uh -huh. yeah. Gracias. Ok. Another question. Start. Start. Empezar. What, what time do you start? Uh -huh. ¿A qué hora empiezan? Sí. ¿A qué hora se empieza? What time do you start? Okay, let's practice pronunciation. What sports do you play? What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? Where, Where do, do you play? play? 
We played at Hunter Park. We played at, at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? When, when, do, you practice? when do you practice? We practice on Sundays. We, we practice, practice on Sundays. Sunday. Okay. What time do you start? What, what time do you, do you start? start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so ahí en la segunda pregunta, who do you play baseball with? El with es cuando quiere preguntar con quién. Ajá, en este caso, con quién. With es con, right? With. With. Y en la respuesta también lo incluimos. I play with some friends from work. Juego con algunos amigos del trabajo. Hola. ¿Qué a week, teacher? Once a week. Okay. Una o dos veces Once, por semana. Una y dos twice por... dos. Ajá, uh, dos, no, veces. dos veces. Uh -huh. okay. Once, twice. Once a week sería mm -hmm. una vez a la semana. Or twice a week es dos veces a la semana. Once or twice. Once or okay. twice. Okay. Once or twice. Eso es así. Una vez es once. Dos veces, twice. Si son tres veces, ahí ya se usa el número. Se dice three times, tres veces, three times, cuatro veces, four times, cinco, five times. Solo una vez y dos veces es que se dice diferente. Once es una vez, twice, dos veces. Luego ya es más fácil, three times, four times, y así sucesivamente. Ok, um, let's see. We're going to complete the conversation with the correct WH question. Aquí, uh, basándonos en esto que acabamos de ver en esta gramática, tienen que completar la conversación con la, con la pregunta correcta. WH question. So, tenemos que leer, por ejemplo, aquí dice, I watch sports on TV every weekend. Really? Mm, do you like to watch soccer? It's my favorite. Entonces, era, what sports do you like to watch? En la B... Aquí vamos a leer. Do you usually watch soccer? Y él le responde on Sunday afternoon. Entonces, ¿cuál es la WH correcta ahí? When. 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 Do you usually watch soccer? Uh -huh. Veamos. Yes. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoon. Uh -huh. And do you usually watch it at home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. Where? No. Where? 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 Le está preguntando a dónde. Where? And where do you where? usually watch it? At home? Uh -huh. Yes, the question was where? Where do you usually watch it? Okay, good job. No, at my friend. She has a really big TV. Okay, así quedaría la conversación uno. Vamos a practicar. Let's repeat. Um, I watch sports on TV every weekend. I, I watch, watch sports sport on TV every weekend. One more time. I watch sports on TV every weekend. I, I watch sports sport on TV on every TV weekend. weekend. Really? <coughs> really? Really? What sport do you like to watch? What, what sport, sport do you like, do you like, like to watch? watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. Soccer, soccer is my favorite. favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoon. On Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? 
And when where do you usually, do you usually wash, wash, it wash it at home? At home? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. No, no at my oh, friend's house. house. He has a really big, house. Really big, big, house. Big, big, big TV. Okay, now let's complete the number two. Let's complete the conversation number two. Les voy a dar unos dos minutitos para que en su cuaderno completen la dos, así como hicimos la uno. Yes. yes. Okay, we're going to check your answers. Let's see the first one. How often? Yes, how often do you go bike riding? That's and in the next space. Next. What time? Yeah. What time? What time? That's okay. Si pusieron when, también es otra posibilidad. What time or when? Aha. Uh -huh. And the last one. Uh -huh. Who? Who? Who do you usually go with? Who? Excellent. Who do you usually go with? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's practice the number two. Here it is. Number two. How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. Oh, oh about, about once, once a month. month. Oh. I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. I love, I love to go bike riding. riding. I go every, I go every Saturday. Saturday. Really? What time do you go? When do you go? Uh, usually at about one o'clock. Usually, 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 No questions? No questions. Okay, now in this part, you have to complete the conversation with WH questions. For example, the answer here is I like a lot of sport, but I really love volleyball. Entonces la pregunta es, what sport do you like? Luego tienen que leer la respuesta y hacer la pregunta según la respuesta. Se van a formular cuatro preguntas.
Finished? Yes. Okay, the first one is what sport do you like? And the answer, I like a lot of a sport, but I really like volleyball. And the next question is? Who usually do you play Who do you play? Por ahí más o menos, a volunteer? What sport do you like? Who do you usually play with? Excellent, that's the answer. Who do you play with? O pueden ponerle usually. Who do you usually play with? And that's correct. I usually play with my sister and some friends. Next question. What is the next question? When do you practice? Excellent. When do you practice? We practice on Saturday. That's great. Okay, uh, next question. What time, what time, do, you what time do you start? What time do you start? Excellent. We start at about noon. All right, next question. Where, Where do, you do you play? Where? Where do you play? Do you play? Excellent. Let's repeat. What sport do you like? What, what sport, do, sport you like? do you like? Do you like? I like a lot of sport, but I really love volleyball. I like, I like a lot, lot of sport, of sport but, but I really, really love, love volleyball. volleyball. Who do you play with? Who do you, Who do you play, play with? I usually play with my sister and some friends. I, I usually, usually play, play with, with my, my sister and, and some, some friends. friends. When do you practice? When do, when you, do you practice? practice? We practice on Saturdays. We, we practice, practice on, on Saturdays. Saturdays. What time do you start? What, what time, time do, do you start? start? We start at about noon. We start, we start, start at about, about noon. 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 Where do you play? Where do you play? Do you play? We usually do play do in play? our yard. But sometimes we play at the beach. We, we usually play, play in our yard, but sometimes we play, play, play on the beach. Play very the good. Beach. There you go. Okay, I see that you did a very good job with this topic. So we can move to a different thing. Hicieron un muy buen trabajo con este tema. Okay. Now, let's take a look to this conversation. You see the topic? I can't sing, right? I can't. What, what is the meaning of can't? No puedo. No, mm -hmm. puedo. no, no puedo cantar. Yeah, no puedo cantar. I can't sing. Well, this is a I different topic. So, uh, let's practice. Well, first, listen the conversation and then tell me if you find new vocabulary. Page 66, exercise 6, conversation. I can't sing. Listen and practice. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Okay, that was the conversation. Did you find new vocabulary there? New vocabulary? Um, let's enter. Let's. Enter. Let's. Ajá. La expresión let's es para invitar a alguien a hacer algo. Vamos a entrar. Vamos, entremos. Okay. Let's enter. Entremos. Let's enter. Talent contest. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Entremos. It's like to say, let's practice. Vamos a practicar. Practiquemos mañana, right? Let's practice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Y let's go. ¿Qué significa? Vamos. 
Vamos. Ah. Ajá, el y solo es, es como invitando a alguien a hacer algo. Oh, uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. El ex es como para invitar, para incitar a hacer algo. Uh -huh. Another question. Enter the, con the contest. Contest. Contest es un con concurso. En este caso, talent contest es un concurso de talento. Talent contest. Uh -huh. okay. Y enter es entrar. Entremos al concurso de talento. Uh -huh. Let's concurso. enter the talent contest. Okay. 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 Any other question? No more questions? <clears throat> okay. Um, let's listen again and then you will practice uh, pronunciation. Page 66, exercise six, conversation. I can't sing. Listen and practice. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Okay, volunteers? Uh, Carla and Jaime. Okay, you can start, okay. Carla. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent concert on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What, what can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can pl can play the piano. So maybe we can enter at the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, very nice. You did an excellent job. Another two volunteers? Another two? Adonai, Adonai, and it is. You can start, it is. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. What you can do? Oh no, I can see it all at all, but I can't play the no. piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, well done. You have a really good pronunciation. Okay, thank you. Um, another two? Another two volunteers. Um, Kayla, Kayla. Um, Karen? Sí, sí. Yo. Who wants to practice with Karen? A volunteer to practice with Karen? Yo, Noé. Noé, okay, Karen and Noé. Yes. Oh, look. There is time contest. On Saturday, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can I can sing a well, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. 
Okay, very nice. You're doing a nice job with pronunciation. Great. Another two volunteers? Yeah, more. Another two volunteers? Me teacher, Lillian. Okay, Lillian and Jose Amaya. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no. I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. <laughs> okay, well done. Excellent job. Thank you for your participation, guys. Okay, uh, this is going to be tomorrow's topic. We're going to be talking about camp for ability. Okay, so mañana vamos a discutir, a practicar un poco más sobre camp para hablar de habilidades. Okay. So, uh, do you have any questions so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? No Jose Amaya? No teacher. No, no questions, okay. No question. Well, no uh, question. we're going to continue with the topic tomorrow. Remember to complete the exercises. Acuérdense de completar los ejercicios. Ya uh, estamos en la última semana. Ya solo nos quedan dos clases. Si quieren que repasemos o reforcemos algún otro tema que sienten que, que necesitan un poco más de práctica, me, uh, me hacen saber. Okay, para preparar un, un... Pueden escribir mañana al chat o mañana me dicen para hacerla en la última clase, que sería el jueves. Muy bien. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Así es que ahí me tienen el dato mañana si hay algún tema que necesiten okay. reforzar. Ok, okay. okay teacher. Yeah. Ok, yeah. sleep well yeah. and uh, see you, you tomorrow. Tomorrow, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.